Welcome to the Maximo Application Suite video series brought to you by Maven Asset Management. In this video series, we'll continue our discussion of KPIs by focusing on the KPI template application. So let's head over to Maximo to show this feature. Okay, to get started, here we are in the Maximo Application Suite in Maximo Manage. The user I'm signed into or signed in as has access to multiple start centers but let's focus here on his role as an operations manager. He has KPI list in the portlet on the left, but look, let's build our use case on this particular KPI. The KPI is missing some failure data, and if we look at the KPI description, it's emergency work that has no failure data, no problems cause a remedy. Well, without this critical failure data, this organization is unable to move forward in its asset ma management maturity with other products in the suite, including Asset Health and Asset Predict. We need to capture that critical failure data. So I may be missing it from my work order because the technician did not enter a problem cause a remedy, or the asset did not have a failure class associated to it. So let's focus on that particular use case, looking at assets that don't have a failure class associated to them. So to start, let's go to our KPI template application and see if we have something that maybe we can start with. So these are the KPI templates that are delivered in the Max Demo database. And you can see there's a wide variety of them. Again, to start building your learning on how to use this application, you could open up any one of them to see the SQL, the KPI variables, the KPI values, et cetera. But I noticed right away that there's a KPI over here that's looking at asset failure code compliance. Now I want something similar, so let me just take a quick look at this and see what it's doing. So it's basically looking at all the assets that are in an active, broken, or operating state that don't, that, excuse me, that do have asset failure codes defined. Well, this is really interesting to me because it's a great starting point, but I just want to take it in a slightly different context. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to duplicate my KPI. But what am I looking for? I'm looking for active assets without failure code. Without failure code. All right, excellent. I, I want to look at it from the asset application. In my case, I actually want to look at it in decimal. I want to, I want to see the number. So I'm going to simply break this up a little bit so I understand exactly what it's doing here. I'm going to take this second half off because I don't want a percentage. But I do want to select my assets, my, excuse me, my asset numbers from asset where my status is operating active. Do I care about broken? Yeah, I'll leave it there. That's fine. But I'm not as particular focus on asset type as I am on priority. So let me just quick change that. And priority. So what is I what am I doing as I do this? Let me finish typing and then let's take a look at it a little bit more. So again, with a KPI template, we define a base SQL and a variable. My variable has to be in this specific syn syntax, the dollar sign and the parentheses. So taking a look at our SQL, I'm selecting the number of assets. Here's my particular status of those assets, where the priority, that's going to be my variable, and the failure code is null. I want to look at failure codes, excuse me, fa assets that don't have failure codes. Well, I want to save this up here, and then I want to get rid of all my other variables because these were for my other KPI that I deleted or duplicated from. So again, what are my active assets without failure codes? There's my SQL, and I've simplified the process by using the existing KPI template. But now what is my variable? My variable Maximo is smart enough to look at the syntax and tell me that my variable name is priority, but I need to define its object and attribute so I can bind it. My attribute here is priority. Let's see if we can find it. Perfect. Now notice when I bring in my priority value, it automatically brings in the attribute data type. In this case, it's an integer. 
So that means when I'm defining my KPIs, he's saying, hey, make sure you put in an integer value, not, for example, a text value. So that's my variable, but now let's start creating the KPIs that I'm going to get from this template. My first one, I'm going to simply put in some uh, target values here, 40 and 50. Those are again, my red, yellow, green status. But what is the particular variable value for priority? In this case, I want priority one assets. I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to add another one and notice how nice this is. As soon as I add another one, it brings in those same target values for me, but then I just simply come down and now say, I want to look at my priority two assets. And I'm going to do that one more time and define it for my priority three assets. So I have three different KPIs that I'm going to create. They're going to be created with the same exact KPI SQL, which makes it so much easier to maintain and understand going forward. And then again, if I look at my values, here's KPI one or priority one, see how I navigate down and I see two and three. I can change my target values. Maybe my threes are not as critical. I can put 40, 50, 60, whatever those might be. And I simply save that. So now let me come in and generate my KPIs. Uh, it's giving me an error message. No worries. Let's take a look here. A couple of things I can see right away. Let's clean up the SQL. Oops, I got a few too many select counts here. So let me get rid of this. Perfect. Let's take a closer look before I try again. Select count from asset with a status, priority. That's my variable. Failure code is not null. Much cleaner, better SQL. So let's save that. And now let's try generating our KPIs again. Oh, make sure you hit the action and it gives me a message three KPIs were created. Wow, how nice is that? So now if I went over to the KPI template application or excuse me, KPI manager and I searched on that particular template, let's take a look there. There's a three individual KPIs that we created from KPI template. Really powerful application. Highly recommend that you use it. And then in our next video, let's take a deeper dive and look at some of these KPIs in KPI Manager. Thank you.